Hey, I'm Bob and I like to make stuff. Today I'm going to show you how to make a really simple floating desk. First I made the frame and it had to fit between three walls. I did this with just regular old 2x4s. I cut down two long pieces for the front and back, three pieces to act as cross braces. I pre-drilled some holes in the ends of the long ones and countersunk them so that the screws could fit flush. I drove in screws and just made a simple box. The last piece of the frame was just to fit in the center piece and screw it in the exact same way. To make the actual surface of the desk, I figured out how many pieces of 1x4 I would need, and then I just cut those in half on the chop saw to make sure that I had enough. I laid them out and then rearranged the grain pattern to what I thought would look good. These were going to be connected with biscuits, using a biscuit joiner, so I had to make a mark between two pieces anywhere that I wanted a biscuit to sit. On these marks, on each piece, I used the biscuit joiner to cut a slot, and I had to do this on both sides of most of the pieces, other than the front and the back. Once I got all the slots cut, which was a whole lot, I added some glue to the surfaces and down in the slots that were cut. Then I just pushed a biscuit down into each one of the slots. Some of them were tighter than other because the biscuits are often a little bit different in size, so some of them had to be knocked in with a mallet, some went in very easily. Then it was a matter of just lining up the slots between the two pieces using the lines that I had drawn earlier. I clamped these two pieces together, alternating the clamps from the top and the bottom. This helps the boards not to buckle in one direction, if they have even pressure. At first I just started with two boards at a time. I wasn't entirely positive that my long clamps would be long enough to do the whole tabletop at once. On each of the rest of the boards, I added the slots to both sides of it. Then I added glue to all the surfaces and down in the slots before dropping in the biscuits. I added glue to the top of these biscuits so when they went in their mating slot, there would be glue on all the different surfaces. It took a little bit to line all these up, but once I got everything lined up, I used some really long clamps to clamp the whole thing together. Again, I used clamps on the top and the bottom to make sure that there was even pressure and this would stay as flat as possible. The last step before I did the final glue up was to clamp on that two board section that I had done previously. It turned out my clamps were plenty long enough, and like I always say, you can never have too many clamps. Today's video is sponsored by Dove Men Plus Care, and they're a personal care brand, but there's a very specific reason that I wanted to work with them. I spend a lot of time in this shop without air conditioning, and I spend a lot of time outside running, training for marathons. Between all of that and living in the deep south, I'm sweaty a lot of the time. And being sweaty a lot, at least for me, causes a lot of armpit irritation and chafing. They've done a whole bunch of research, and they found that over 50% of men deal with some sort of an armpit irritation. And if we don't have to deal with that stuff, we're gonna be more comfortable, more confident, and we're just gonna do a better job job at whatever it is we're doing. I know for me, if I'm comfortable, I will work longer and train harder for sure. So they made a whole line of antiperspirants made specifically to fight irritation. And if you deal with this at all, you want to visit the link below and you can see all their research and the line of products they have to help you be more comfortable. So be sure to go check them out. Thanks, Dove Men Plus Care. After that panel was dry and out of the clamps, I had to clean off the glue squeeze out. It comes up in droplets, so I just used a scraper and slid it along the lines. All those droplets popped off pretty easily. A biscuit joiner does a pretty good job of lining up the surfaces, but it's not perfect because the biscuits are a little bit different size. So to smooth it out, I used a hand plane and just ran over all the joints until I couldn't feel them very much. It didn't need to be perfectly smooth, and this wasn't something I had a lot of experience with. I got it pretty far and then finished up with an orbital sander. The last real step of construction was to add the front panel. It needed to be deep enough to cover the 2x4 frame and the 1x4 top. So I used a 1x6 and just stripped off just a little bit. I set it up against the front of the top panel and added biscuits just like I had done to create the top panel itself. I clamped the piece into the vise and added the biscuit slots from the back side. Then it was a matter of just attaching it like I had done previously. Glue, biscuits, knocking it together with a mallet and adding clamps. But I wanted this piece to be a little bit stronger just because it wasn't end to end. I used some clamps to pull this piece snug to the tabletop and make sure it lined up well. I split the width of the desk into six equal parts and then made a mark 3 eighths of an inch down from the top. This is right in the middle of the board that's behind it. I countersunk a hole and drove in a screw, and this really forces those pieces together. Then I added a dowel with some glue into that hole and sawed it off so it was flush. Originally I wanted this desktop to be removable, so you would lift it up using the front panel. That's why it needed to be attached in a really strong, sturdy way. Well, it turned out in the end that wasn't going to work out, but I went ahead and did this because I like the detail of having those dowel ends from the front panel. I planed down that edge just to get it smooth with the top again, and then ran over it quickly with the sander, but it didn't need very much. 
the sander was really handy to get those dowels completely flush on the front panel. The glue and the sawdust around those holes fills in any gaps, which is really nice. Then I needed to trim it to the correct width. I used my speed square and clamped on a straight edge so that I could get a nice even cut along one side of this table. I had to do the same for the front face, but there wasn't enough room for the circular saw, so I used the flush cut saw instead. After getting one side completely flush, I measured over the actual distance that I needed and cut off the opposite side. The client wanted the desk to be a classic gray stain, so I covered the whole thing with a really thick coat and then went back and wiped it off with some paper towels. I left it on for probably about five minutes before I started wiping things off. After that was dry, I did two coats of satin polycrylic with a light sanding in between. I wanted the tabletop to be very smooth. I laid the frame over a piece of eighth inch plywood and cut it to size, and this is gonna be the bottom once it's installed. I measured up the height where I wanted the frame to stop and then used a laser level to mark that point on all three of the walls that this would be attached to. I went around on that laser and made several marks because I would cover up the laser while I was in there installing it. I drove some screws into each one of the 2x4s into where I knew studs were, then into the corners. I filled in the rest of the spaces with some anchoring screws that I had that I knew worked pretty well. I wanted to test it out, and it's plenty strong. Then I just sat on the top. I had to do some adjusting and slamming and knocking in, but once I got it fit in, then I drove some screws in through the 2x4s into the frame of the front. I ran out of time to stain the bottom panel before I put it in, so I'm going to have to go back and stain that later. This was a little bit different that I installed that desk, but then I had to actually do some last minute travel. You can tell I'm actually on the road right now, and I wasn't able to get back in there to get the final shots of the desk. So all I have to show you is a photograph. But this is what it ended up looking like. I was really happy with how it turned out, and it was a super simple build. I did mention before that the top for this desk was originally supposed to be removable. That was the idea, and I was gonna put some magnets in the bottom of the top piece and in the two x four frame, so it would stick together unless you actively pulled it out. I was hoping I could add some hidden storage to it that way, just to make it a little bit more interesting. And when I was installing it, I found a problem. The opening that the desk went into was actually a little bit larger on the back than it was on the front. So to make it fit, I had to trim off a little bit of the front to make it nice and snug, but that made it so I couldn't actually pull the desk out. I was running out of time and didn't have any other options at that point, so I just made it fixed, which is what they wanted in the first place. So it's a super simple project, something you could add to any little nook in your house very easily. You could add some storage underneath it. You could do a lot of different things to customize it to fit whatever space you have to put it in. I hope you liked this one, and if you did, I'd love to hear about it. You can let me know down in the comments or at my website, iliketomakestuff.com. I've got all my social links down there and lots of other videos and stuff for you to check out. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.